And my wife would tell me I, I have, she knows my love language more than I do. Traditional food, right? Yes. Love language of food. That's always good. He'll make me a coffee in the morning and bring it to my bed, or he'll like order me something that I didn't think of that makes my life better, or just little things without me asking that I'm always like, oh wow, he thought of that. That was really, that was really thoughtful. I, I like that. But there's a lot of little things at work that she does to kind of make me not think of work and uh, make it a little bit more enjoyable. You could go ahead and open it and see what's inside. These are cookies baked, um, yes, by people in our culinary program, and they oh, are nice. the best cookies I've ever had. I don't know if you see John over here, right when we opened it. Um, John is someone that went through our culinary program. He was a homeless veteran, um, and now he lives in our sober transitional housing, and um, it's the longest place he's ever lived. That will make you proud of the program. Yeah. Salvation Army has gotten me sober off the streets. And trained me in a new skill. That's what it's about, right? Mm -hmm. I wasn't aware of Salvation Army's culinary program. Uh, I think it's awesome. It's more important than getting on with life and, and creating a better life for yourself and your family than having work. You sometimes wonder where people can get help and it's, I think it's amazing that they can actually put themselves to learn a skill and feel yeah. safe and, and really better themselves.